Hi guys and welcome back to episode 17 of the Build a Nation Challenge with Cork City. Uh, we're back to play the second leg against Slovan Bratislavia. But before that I'll show you the um, results we've just had. So we finished off with our first leg away draw, which was a cracking, cracking result. And as you can see, we finally beat Bohemians. And not only beat them, we beat them quite comfortably. So I'm, I'm more happy about that to be honest. So yeah, we've only played that one game. Because now we're in the thick of it in Europe. So, yeah, we're going to see if we can even get a 0-0 draw in this game. I'll uh, just give you a quick finance update. It looks bad, but we literally just had our monthly update. Only lost a grand and a half because of our prize money, as you can see. But So, so we're doing okay for now. Right, let's get the game started. As you can see, we've got Tariq Lamptey loaned in from Chelsea for nothing. But I think if we don't play him once in a month or something like that, we have to pay £500 of his wage. But very good fullback. He's a natural in the position we want to play as well. He's going to be the temporary replacement for Maloney. The only problem is because it's the second leg of a round, we can't register him for this game just like we had with Maziz. So hopefully that isn't the problem because he is our weakest link. He should be fine. Always proving a point. Let's prove a point then. Actually, no, I think that one. Okay, that wasn't that good. And we kick off. Really, really, really want this. We need it for the finances to even be able to improve our team at the moment. We're just spending wages to keep players. I mean, we might get an offer for a good player, but that would be like, what, 500 grand tops, and that doesn't go far in this league. Shepard. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh. Very good start. Right, Griffin on the ball. Buckley onto Tilly, who loses it to Nono. Struggling to get out their own half, but they just found their way with a what I thought was going to be a dangerous ball, but Ryan collects it. Right, Tilly's on the ball. Gives it to Griffin out wide. Whips it in. And no one can get on the end of it. Grief is causing us some grief. This is a really long holler. I don't even know who it's going to be. Right, Spora's on the ball. Gives it to Moa. Oh, it's Drazic with the goal. <clears throat> Eight minutes in and we're 1-0 down. They've got their away goal. So now we're in danger because if they get one more away goal... They have that advantage. So at the moment we're just trying to equalise just to stay in the tie. Because even if we do equalise, it's going to go to extra time. I can't remember the other team, but one of the teams we could play is Ludogorets if we get through. Which I can't see us knocking them out. But yeah, we've got to knock these boys out first. Dragic's on the ball again. He's got it again, he whips it, oh, almost game over boys. We now have to score three to go through. It's still very early, but I don't know, we need him to get a player sent off or something. It's not looking good, right, Griffin's got a corner, he whips it in, McLaughlin. Oh, please don't count and get another one. We really, really need... Oh, great challenge, Maloney. So we really need to stay in this tie. If we can get one back before half-time, I can relax a little. Unless we can see another. <sighs> Jesus, get it out. Our defence is a bit ropey today. Moa heads it in, McLaughlin tries to head it out, Morrissey gets it further, Nono's on the ball, gives it to Drazic, I've got a feeling he's going to cut in the shoot, he does, and it's in. I think that might be it guys. That's a big ask now. I think it might have been my team talk, you know, should have gone with what... 
Well, the assistant said, oh, wrong button. Ah, get off. Lucky hits it wide. Right, so half hour in, 3 0 down, 4 1 down in aggregate. It's not looking good. I mean, Slav and Bratislava are a better team than us anyway. Easily a better team than us. I was just hoping. Well, if it is goodbye to the Europa League this early, at least we can concentrate on the league. Less games to worry about. And, um. We can, uh. Concentrate on the league. And hopefully try and win it this year. We are, with that win against Bohemians, I think we're like four or five points ahead now as well. I think we've gained a bit more ground. So it's like we have a little bit of room to make mistakes. Go on. Tap it in. We've got a goal, boys. It's not over. But even if we get... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, we drew, didn't we? Yeah, so... For a split second, I thought we won our first leg, but we didn't. So, yeah, even if we get two goals, we're still out because of their away goal advantage. So we still need, we still need to score three still. I can't see Nash coming on being a hero. I've still got a tiny bit of hope, I just can't give up. You can see how far behind in quality the Irish league is though. There's a lot of work to do. It's what's going to be a long term save, and again, is why I'm skipping through bigger chunks of the season until we get to Europe anyway. Because otherwise, you'll never see. I mean, we ne never may make it anyway as a, a successful nation, but if we do, it'll it take a lot of seasons, and we'll never get there by the time next year's game's out. So it'll be out around November time. Morrissey just outside the box. Buckley, we've got another goal, boys. It's not over yet. Two more goals we need. Can we do it? Can we do it? Please be our highlight. Please be a goal. A goal for Cork. A goal for Cork. Come on. Let's pray to the FM gods. Right, they're on the attack. Moa gives it to Kavrich. Oh, here we go. Don't let him get past. Great save, Ryan. Got 15 minutes to get two goals. Go on, Nash. Is it going to be our highlight or is that it? Not crossing like that. From Laughlin. Out wide to Shepherd. He's got loads of space. Awful. Maloney's turn. Awful again. Falls to Buckley. Takes a long range shot. Just over. This is nerve wracking. Uh Laughlin's had a terrible game. Looking at stats, we've given him a game though, and that's you know, and we only lost the we lost by one goal. It's not the end of the world. Just if only we could hold it together in the first half. I think it may be my team talk. Never go against your assistant. Use your gut. Oh, that's disappointing. Shame this isn't the Champions League one, because then we could um be in Europa League still. Yeah, I think we're unlucky. Nice amount of people in the stadium. Basically got as far as they expected us to get. Again, nearly a quarter of a million, so there's that at least. But really needed the finances because that's not going to last very long. We didn't say well. Who we got next? 
going to come back. going to play a big chunk. And I'll probably come back to Dundalk if they are still up there. So we're going to play quite a big chunk. All right. See you in a sec, guys. And we're back, guys. We played a big chunk of games. I'll show you the results that we've had. So we last played against Bratislava and unfortunately lost the game. But we put that behind us. And then unfortunately, we went behind at the beginning. Lee Gray scoring for Shamrock Rovers. Cummins managing to get a goal back, but Keener right at the end stole it. That was a tough pill to swallow. But as you can see after that, we had a good run of games. We beat Dundalk 4-2, which was nice because they... And it was in a cup as well, eSports uh, semi-final, which for once we actually managed to beat them in a cup. It's a shame it isn't an actual final. I guarantee if we get them in a final, they beat us. But Mazzy's getting on the score sheets the first time. Tilly with two. And McLaughlin to finish it off. Uh, after that, we smashed goal United, goal away United 6-0 with Kyle Shepard, James Tilly, Leo Mazes, Gary Buckley, Shane Griffin and Joe Quigley all getting on the score sheet. We played them again in the FA Cup first round and only beat them two, by two goals, but we had like 30 shots, something like that, so can't complain. We then battered Shelbourne, as you'd expect. I mean, we scored all our goals even before they had their player sent off with um, O'Connor because um, uh, Shepard was banned for a game, so we had to play O'Connor on the wing. And yeah, he got two goals in two minutes. And McLaughlin getting the other goal. We then played UCD in the FA Cup second round. That was a weird one, because we were quite comfortable, I thought. But they just kept scoring straight after, and we almost didn't win that game. This was the new win result. We got knocked out of the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. 3-1 against Shamrocks. Carl Shepard getting us a goal right near the end. But we were pretty much already out, to be honest. We were, didn't play well. And then we've just lost 4-2 to Dundalk. But if you look at it, you see what's annoying. Okay, so it was an end goal by a keeper. It's a bit of a freak goal, but we go one up. Quite happy with that. Great result. 2-0 up against Dundalk away. And we fell apart. Great start, fell apart. Annoying. But I'm hoping we're going to end this episode on a positive. So we got a cup final, EA Sports cup final against UCD. L S L. I think they're slightly different. To, maybe they're the smaller team. I don't know the difference, but we get the game underway. I'm hoping the last two games isn't going to affect our players. There's only one player on the first team who's out of form. I've had a little word of him. Told him, you know, sort yourself out. Otherwise, you're getting dropped. You got to do that every time, every from time to time to make sure your players keep trying and sort themselves out. <laughs> Right, he wants you to prove a point. I've learnt from mistakes. I'm not going to go against the assistant for now. <clears throat> so assertively prove a point that you're winners. See if we can finish this episode on a positive. Got a big chunk of the season out of the way though. Because as I've said before, I feel like we need to come back mostly for Europe. So we'll see how well we can do. Like this year, I mean, if we if we start, if it's close, because we're top of the league at the moment, I think we, because um, of those losses, we have dropped a few points, but I think we're still clear by a few points, not nothing, not safe. But yeah, when it comes to the end, if if it's not really won, or if it goes down to the wire, I'll come back, obviously. But after, after that, I might skip even the beginning of next season, like maybe play, come back every 10 games, maybe, unless there's a big game or a cup game or something like that. Great start, Cummins, he hasn't scored in a long time. So yeah, that's that's the plan anyway. I thought they went in then. See, I think this game should be a quite a clean cut game for us, but ooh, when I'm right, but because. We lost the last two games, you know, it's been a bit hit or miss, can knock to have a cup here and there. That obviously could affect us. I mean, we've won the Monster Cup this year. That's the only thing we have won. We've won it both years, but it's not a big cup. I don't think any of the Irish Cups are considered big, considering since we've taken over, even straight away, all they want is us to win the league. They don't give two shits, to be honest, about any of the Cups. Cummins gets a brace. And we're quite comfortable at the moment. So yeah, it's all about the league in Europe. 
But if we can win this, that'd be three trophies in two years so far. But in Ireland, I suppose you get a good chance of winning trophies because there's so many cups. Tilly on the ball. Misplaces his pass, and now UCD are on the attack. Daly's managed to skin two players and passes it out to Coffee. He plays it to Tilly, who still managed to lose it, but wins it back. Shepard somehow gets it over the top to Maziz. Can he score? And he does. It looks like he tried to put a lot of power into that, but scuffed it. This game's all but one already, guys. As we expected. But it's just nice to finish this episode with a trophy. One that isn't the Monster Cup. Although it is a cup sponsored by EA, so it's not something you really want. Oh, are we going to get a counter attack with Tilly to start it? He's running for it and <laughs> get, it falls at the first hurdle. But Cummins, wow, what a run and what a ball. Tries to dink, but Murphy's quick to it. Right, 3 0 at half time. One hand on the trophy, but I'd probably say it's more likely to be two considering the score. None of this prove a point bollocks anymore. Let's just say I'm happy. You're 3 0 up, mate, at half time. What point have you got to prove now? Although I suppose Milan, no five, were three and up against Liverpool. And they managed to come back, but we are the ones with the penalty here, so I don't think they'll be able to complete that comeback today. Nope, that is weird. That needs to be loaded in that background. That does not look right. Yeah, it's definitely done now. Just sit back and enjoy the game. Three trophies in two years. Lampley's got a good throw on him. He gets it back. Crossing's just as good. Tilly gets on the end of it. It's 18 goals for that winger this year. He's proved to be a good loan again. Shepard's obviously proved to be really um, good and prolific again this year. Just Cummins is slowing down. And he hasn't had any big injuries this year. I mean, he still scored quite a lot. I think he scored 29 in all competitions. It's still really good. But I think his age is starting to show. There's me criticising him. He just scored a hat-trick in this game. But other than that, like before this, he's been pretty poor, pretty average for what we used to see. And let's give Boston a go. He has been whinging lately, actually. I think I've put him on... I think I've, he's actually put in a uh, transfer request. Which reminds me, before we go, I've just signed a free transfer. He's on loan until he can join apparently. He's 30, so I don't normally go for players that old. But you'll see why in a minute. And that's it. Another trophy, guys. Bit of a little dance on the podium. There you go. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all, though, isn't it? unless it's a massive trophy. Yeah. We passionately say we're happy with the result. They're all happy. All good. Right, let me quickly show you the player I have signed. Oh, there he was. Glenn Whelan, Whelan, I recognise the name, yeah, the Villa, ex-Villa and Stoke player. Coming back home, actually, where did he start? Oh, no, he started at Man City, didn't realise that. So he's not coming back home, although he is Irish. Oh, no, he's 35. I thought he was 30. Okay, he's he's going to be a one-season, hopefully, wonder. But as you can see, like, we play a deep line, play, make and defend. Even if you weren't looking at his highlight stats, he is a good player. Even at 35, obviously he's slow, com like, horrendously slow. But a deep line playmaker doesn't need to be first. He's not a bad box to box, apparently. And yes, that's but again, you wouldn't really do it because he's so slow. But yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. He'll do us a favour because we've only got Morris who's really good and then Buckley after that. After that, there's no one really good at centre mid. And you've got McCormick, to be fair, but he's always unhappy and he's dropping majorly as well. And he's more defensive than anything. Yeah. But anyway, guys, hope you like the episode.
If you do, hit the like button as always. And if you're new, subscribe please. And I'll see you later.